Oh, it was just so lovely having my morning green tea up on the roof. I am trying to keep calm. In fact, I have no reason to get stressed out. My One of my closest friends, Frankie, uh, who lives in Mallorca, you all know, she comes over once or twice a year from Mallorca. She is visiting me today and I said, rather than go to a restaurant because we talk so much and we talk so loudly, I'm going to give her lunch here in my own flat in Marylebone. Now, as you know, I'm not a particularly good cook. You all know that. Um, and she lives on an island with fresh food, fresh fruit, fresh fish, fresh meat and everything. And I just think, how am I going to compare? Well, <laughs> you know what I'm going to do, uh, what I've always done, which is bring in the support of HelloFresh. Now, if you don't know what HelloFresh is, where have you been basically? It is um, a subscription delivery service of the most beautiful fresh food delivered straight to your door with um, really, I mean, it's, it's fail safe. They send you recipe cards, they send you the timing, they send you all the ingredients, nothing extra. So you don't have stuff left over, um, just what you need to, put, to cook those particular dishes. You know I've used HelloFresh. HelloFresh are sponsoring this vlog. They have sponsored other hysterical vlogs. Um, when I've had Anna over, when I've had the celebrity florist over, um, and when I've had Philippe over. More about Philippe, my editor, in a moment, but he's about as useless as cooking as I am. Let me just tell you, because I have a special code. So, um, if, gosh, that's Philippe, that's serendipity. If you would like to trial HelloFresh, many of you use it already, I have a very special code that gives you 50% off your first order and 35% off your next three orders. But let me show you how it works. I'm doing it on my phone today, so you just download the HelloFresh app and then you create your own plan. So um, I am mainly vegetarian, but I also like to use a lot of fish. I don't really use a lot of meat. Um, you decide whether you want three deliveries a week, how many people, so two people for me. Philippe, in a minute, um, three times a week, and mainly I'm going to go for, I mean, gosh, look at all these recipes. They add different recipes all the time. They add different sides all the time. Um, what I love about it is there are no surprises. You know exactly what you're going to get. You know exactly what you need to cook it and you have recipe cards that you can keep forever. In fact, I'm going to play a little clip here of when Philippe helped me to cook and I sent him home with two recipes. It was my gift to him when he moved into his flat and it was his first experience of HelloFresh. Here's a tiny little clip, it's on his YouTube channel. Have a look at this. I just got home from Joe's house and I am gonna cook uh, however you say that. I don't know. Hysterical. Anyway, he's been won over to HelloFresh. What I'm going to order today is the ultimate red Thai style king prawns with a zesty rice. Or I might actually have the Indian inspired crushed sea bass. And what I'm also going to do is order um, a, a side dish. And I'm going to have, I think it's the all veg green sides because they order fresh food so it comes fresh from the supplier and what you get isn't stale it is you know it's so fresh it's as fresh as if you got it straight from the farm or the warehouse so that's what i'm going to have um but as i say there are so many choices and they add to them all the time if you would like to try hello fresh for yourself 50 percent off your first order 35 percent off your next three orders and guess what there are three free gifts, three free gifts, including Tony's chocolate. I usually have Tony's chocolate and I've run out. I love Tony's chocolate. Anyway, I'll leave all the link below. And now I'm getting ready for Frankie. Do you like my new baby doll pajamas? <laughs> she hasn't, has she? No. Oh, oh my God, you look... Frankie. You look amazing! Oh my God! This is a proper. So this is a it's Mallorcan a tan. One. This is a proper Mallorcan tan. Oh yes. And that's how my hair might be if I have the Michelle Williams. Anyway, you all know Frankie, um, and she's <laughs> brought her makeup with her. 
<laughs> I need it. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She's need staying. Some. She's not staying here, unfortunately. Um, but she's staying in London for a couple of days. We are so excited. So whilst Frankie's here, this is you will have seen the title of this vlog is where I will eventually live. It may not even be the title. It'll be a title a bit like that, because as you know, Frankie lives in Mallorca and has her whole family are in Mallorca. I mean, her family, her family, her parents and her sister and brother and everything, um, they live over here, but her family live in Mallorca. And how long have you lived there? Uh, 37 years. Look at how she gets <laughs> You go really worried when I put the camera near you. What are you going to she, ask me? No, because, <laughs> let me put this. So, so I have said, when I no longer have the commitments I have with my family, I want to live somewhere warm. I've always said this. I grew up in Australia. I don't want to live in England. And as much as I, I refuse to become your carer, Jenny. so Frankie's <laughs> going to be my carer. Um, <clears throat> no, I want to live somewhere warm. And my plan is to go to live somewhere that's got a much better climate, where I have got friends now. This is not a threat to Frankie. I'm going to turn up, Frankie, and live next door to you. But my question to you is, is it a, do you think it is a good idea to do that? You have other friends that have done that, haven't you? You're asking me this question? Yeah. I think it's the best thing you could do. Yeah, absolutely. Why? However, well, it's a little bit more complicated now because of Brexit. You could only stay um, 90 days and then you have to stay out of it. But not just Spain, you leave England and if you go any part of uh, Europe, it's 90 days. It, you can add them up, you go to wherever, not Turkey, no, but France, Germany, all those. Um, it's 90 days out of England and then you have to go back to England for another 90 days. Um, I should have thought of all of this before Brexit, shouldn't I? An awful lot of people are really struggling with it now. People, for example, who've got properties over there, have been coming and going for 30, 40 years, now have a problem to be able to use their property as yeah, as, they as their second to, home. As a second home. Um, that apart, you, you know me as well as anybody, do you think it would suit me living somewhere like New Yorker, leaving London and living in New Yorker? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Why? Why? Well, you can go to yoga every day. <laughs> you, well, you can sunbathe. You don't like sunbathing, no, but... Um, no, but I love the sun. But funny enough, the taxi driver this morning asked me the same question. You know, what, what is it about it that you love? And I say, it's, it's the whole way of life. It's completely different. It's so less stressful than here. She says, with a car alarm going off in the background. <laughs> uh, the thing about Frankie, wherever I've lived, so I've lived in Brighton and Frankie would come and stay in Brighton. And I used to pray that it wasn't gonna rain and you'd always turn up and it would be a gray, gray day. And you'd say, I can't last mm. till Friday. I'm gonna have to go back. <laughs> to go home. And it is, you know, I mean, you're here today. This is a lovely summer, this summer yes. in London. We are, this has been a, the best summer I remember since yeah. 76, but I can't do the winters. That's the trouble and neither can you. No, I, I, this is the first time I think ever that I've come to England or, or London for four days without bringing a jacket. Yeah, that's brave. Of me, yeah, and she shivers. She shivers as there's a breeze. <laughs> anyway, something to think about. Something to think about. Now, Sandra, look, Sandra, and look, it's, it's our surprise. It's George waving. Hello, everyone. Say so hello to George. Fantastic. Oh, I love George. George is obviously Sandra's grandson and we absolutely love him and he loves Myrtle. And then, where are you going, Sandra? We're going to the park to feed the parakeets. Oh, I say, that's good. I, George, I love you. What I love is that Sandra, on the way out, you should just show everyone what you're doing. You know I say she never stops. She never ever stops. She literally, on the way out, Sandra is still cleaning the brass. It's certainly because there's some fingerprints. But you notice crazy. things. I don't even notice oh, things like that. I know. You just notice. It's immaculate. So how long are you staying for? Till Wednesday. No, till Wait. tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Well, you've got to have a lovely time. And oh, it's sunny. Tell Joe where you're going. To the parakeet. No. On Thursday. I think, no, I forgot. Oh, Scotland. You're going to Scotland? Yeah. How are you going to get there? On the train or in a car? Car. Oh my gosh, that's a wonderful journey. You'll go through the mountains. My Percy, my granny and granddad. Oh my gosh, George. That'll be fantastic. Are you going on Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. <gasps> Bring us back a bit of Heather. Bring us back a bit of Heather Will from you Scotland. Bring Joseph Heather. 
Ask Mummy. Yeah, ask Mummy what Heather is. Okay, I'm off now. I'm off to Maid Vale. Bye. 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 Bye, Sandra. Oh, I love him. I think, I mean, she has a lot of grandchildren, but it's George that um, we see the most of. Anyway, where am I off to? So I am off to Maida Vale to see um, a friend of mine, a very, very old friend of mine, who I met through yoga many, many years ago. Oh dear, sorry, this drilling. This is outside my bedroom. The joys of living in London, actually. I say this is our dawn chorus. Oh, right, I'm gonna turn this off. I'll explain more in the churchyard. Oh, so this is a bit quieter. Um, Yes, I'm off to see my friend um, from yoga. Her name is Margie. She also used to be an actress. And, um, oh dear, I'm getting stuck. They're renovating Marylebone Church. Um, I think they've nearly finished, but there's still a lot of scaffolding and stuff up. Anyway, um, oh, I can show you actually some of the famous faces of Marylebone. They put this up whilst they're renovating Marylebone Church. Um, just have a look at, the, the people who have lived in Marylebone who are famous and I'm hoping one day my face will be it won't be so don't worry I'm joking by the way I'm joking Paul McCartney recorded at Abbey Road St Marylebone so he recorded here Octavia Hill Elizabeth Garrett Anderson Byron baptised in this church. Naomi Harris, actress, attended Marylebone Girls School. Uh, let's just walk all of these. Elizabeth Barrett Browning, of course we know. She uh, got married um, in Marylebone Church. And there's loads more, loads and loads more. I won't, as I say, one day my face will be up. Actually, it won't because this will come down when they've finished the church. Marylebone Church, very, very, very famous. Um, we all love it. And yeah, this is it behind the scaffolding. But actually, oh my God, is it closed? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> this is our little cut through oh. and they've closed it, but you've nearly finished, haven't you? You've nearly finished the renovation? Not finished. Maybe after two months. Two yes. months. Oh, so there's two more months left. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Time. Bye. Um, I'll go the long way around. That's our little cut through. Um, no, what I was going to say before I was distracted is I'm off to Maidavale to see my friend Margie. And she and I went to India together uh, to study yoga with BKS Iyengar many, many years ago. And I don't see her very often, but she comes up to the um, Maida Vale Institute of Iyengar Yoga. And when she's there, she, come, she lives um, down in Rustington. When she's up, we always meet for a cup of coffee or lunch or something. So I'm going to meet her very quickly for a cup of coffee. As I'm staring into this lens, can I just say, one of the greatest wastes of money was the wax Dior lip liner to prevent my lipstick bleeding. As you can see, it does not work. Complete waste of money. Um, I think my lips are beyond rescue. The only good thing was they sent us a pencil sharpener, sent, us, sent me a pencil sharpener with it. I love the pencil sharpener, but really, I mean, I didn't want to pay over 25 pounds for a pencil sharpener, which is what I've done. Anyway, I'm gonna run to the tube. Um, still got my mask, I will always wear my mask still on public transport. I don't know why, I just think it's, it's a bit like going into human soup, going underground actually, especially because it's lovely and warm. I love this heat, but um, I've got my mask in my bag. I'm gonna try and show you a long shot of Marylebone Church because not all of it has scaffolding up. And as I say, it is really, really famous. This is Marylebone Church behind me. And what am I wearing? I am wearing Rixo. This is my very, very first uh, Rixo dress. The very first one I got when they had a pop-up in Carnaby Street. 
and I obviously I love anything that hides the neck and um, it's perfect. I'll try and get a long shot of it if I can. But I always wish I had a cameraman. I'm going to stick you up here and then you can have a look at it. Gosh, this is almost the perfect weather. There's a lovely breeze, um, not a lot of sun. I'm going to Elgin Avenue to um, meet Margie in Elgin Avenue. I think she's at a cafe called Peppermint. Anyway, it's just nice to walk. Any of you that watch my blogs will know that the asthma clinic I go to is just down there. Um, so it's nice to be coming to Major Vale without having a asthma checkup mind you I'm grateful to the asthma clinic I am really grateful to the asthma clinic they do keep an eye on me good old NHS look at these fantastic houses Yes, we went to India together and um, we're going to sit and talk now. We have got such loud voices. Do you think we should sit outside? No, no, we're going to sit in here. Okay. I've been very quiet. So I've just taken you. swaps and nail varnish and I need your I've help. I brought you some cosmetics. Oh, okay. So. Respectful. I am being respectful. Margie said be respectful. Thing is, Iyengar, Garuji. Garuji he wouldn't mind me doing this. I filmed Guruji. Um, so this is um, tribute to BKS Iyengar. This, he has institutes all over the world. This is his London Institute. And I think this was the first institute out of India. Long before America, this was the first one. And it's in Randolph Avenue. In fact, a couple of um, the presenters from BBC London come here for class because I made them. Like Gary Crowley comes here. Um, and as we're approaching, so the sun is coming out. And there's now, a cat coming And there's a cat you. coming towards us. And if you think, this is, we are right in the heart of North London. And just look. Tranquil. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. So, this, look at this. Patanjali, you must go and pay a tribute to Patanjali. So, Patanjali, look at this studio, everyone. Look. And these, 
if you study light on yoga, which is like the yoga Bible, really, for all Iyengar students and teachers, just look at this. These are the poses. Oh, Margie, this is such a privilege. This is such a privilege. And Margie, so you know when you're in an Iyengar studio, because people say it's a bit like a torture chain, but it is the opposite. These ropes, oh my gosh, if you've got... It is torture. It is torture, but if you've got a back like mine, and the more I film, the more I see, because I sit over a microphone for hours every day, I'm getting a curved spine, I have to really check myself. This is, if you can't afford a massage, if you can't get anyone to correct you, go on a rope and I'll show you why it works in a moment. These are the ropes. So, Margie's just told me my dress code came this way. My dress is see-through, but I don't really care. Oh, so, when your back is humped, if you go on a, on a rope, this hump, straight, oh God, this is relax, relax. So, relax. if this, Hopefully, straight arms. Can you see straight arms? Can you see the hump, Margie? Yes. No, I can't. But I, I need your arms to be straight. She's a yoga teacher. You can tell. <laughs> Inner elbows. That's better. See, yeah. that's a good teacher. They notice everything. Or you can just hang like this. Just hang. Oh my God! I so wish I was doing this. Um, cool, so this is it. Um, I urge you to have a look. Just have a look online at the Iyengar Institute, Randolph Avenue, Maida Vale. Margie, it is like coming to church, isn't it? It's, it's great. Absolutely. I can't even give it words, really. No. And the energy through this studio and this window, just beautiful. And we'll finish with Guruji himself. And they always say, not only was he extraordinary in what he achieved, but always look at the light that bounces off him. And he would talk about the light that comes off the body. Inner light. Inner light. Yep, inner light. Ooh. I didn't film a lot of what happened in there. I met... Um, I met a lady who um, was one of uh, BKS Iyengar, otherwise known as Guruji's closest colleagues, I suppose. Um, extraordinary, extraordinary thing. I don't want to upset anyone when I say this, and I hope, I hope I might even cut this out. I don't know, but if you practice yoga. They say the most difficult pose is Shavasana, and Shavasana is when you simply, I say simply, it's not, you lie on the floor, it's the end of a class, you lie on the floor in Shavasana, um, and your body should be fully relaxed. Every bit of your body is relaxed, um, and you can't fall, you mustn't fall asleep, but you must be as relaxed as you could ever be without falling asleep, and the brain is relaxed, because it's gone through basically a meditation, the body is relaxed, but you don't fall asleep. And to do it properly, it is literally the hardest pose, Shavasana. And yet a lot of us in class, we just lie on the floor at the end of a class and just think, oh, I'm gonna to go to sleep or think about what I'm having for dinner. But the true yogis can get into Shavasana and be perfectly still and relaxed and that wonderful lady I met in there she told me that when Guruji had passed away oh gosh sorry <coughs> all this disruption I need to cross over when Guruji passed away he lay in perfect Shavasana perfect Shavasana and he'd been practicing for years.
Oh, I've, I've never heard that story before. I don't want to upset anyone who practices Iyengar because it's quite a personal story. So I hope no one will be upset, but it's a wonderful image. Anyway, God, he's sorry. Ah, now I've got to get the tube back and go to work. So from the spiritual to the really trivial, except I don't think fashion is trivial. Um, I'm in Marylebone Lane and I wanted to just let you into a secret. There is a new store that's opened. It's a consignment store which is selling pre-loved designer clothes. And you know how much I love this part of Marylebone. And as I said in a previous vlog, they're trying to promote it as the new King's Road. If you think behind me, that red shop is Koi Bird, where I buy so many of my quirky pieces. Then you have O Pioneers, the um, Liberty Print girls who make their dresses from Liberty Print. Next door is KJ Laundry, where I get my Samantha Sung. And now the consignment store. I went in last week and I can't wait to show you what I bought. I'm going to take you in there because so many of you that come into London love to follow my trail of fashion outlets. So this is a little treasure trove. Follow me. These are Aquazura. I have wanted a pair of Aquazura shoes for years and years, but they were a bit out of my price range, to be quite honest. And you know I wear big, clunky Stella McCartney platforms, um, but I love, I think these are the most flattering, the kitten heel in nude. They do really extend the leg. So I wanted something simple like this, Aquazura. How much do you think I paid for these in this amazing shop? 70 pounds, 70 pounds and they've never been worn. Never been worn before and I wear them everywhere. They fit like a glove. Clock this, clock these. Dolce, look, the perfect wedge. Not worn. Um, let me just take the camera from this lovely girl, and she'll tell us the name of this store. Thank you for filming. My pleasure. What, what is the store called? Uh, it's called CSD, Consign Seal Deliver. Uh, it's a luxury consignment store, and we consign only high-end designers. We're going for a lot of uh, product that uh, is still new, never worn, that people are buying and they forget about it. And, and yeah, they buy it, I mean, can you imagine people just buy, well actually I have done that, I'm ashamed to say, <laughs> well, you buy something and you just forget about it. Absolutely. So is it, but some of it has been worn, has it? Some yes, of them is some of them are pre-loved, but there yeah. is a lot of statement pieces that people wear one and two times and these days then, you know, with the Instagram life, they don't want to wear it. No, anymore. they Instagram it, exactly. <laughs> just have a look at some of the other things. This is, you know, the Bottega, oh no, it's Balenciaga. <gasps> That is Balenciaga, um, and then if we, I just clock, you know how I love fabric that has a body, just look at this, if I can ask this lovely young lady to hold that up, Absolutely. so what label is that? It's uh, Roxanda. Oh my gosh. Very classic, very romantic. Very romantic, look and look. The detail. At the detail of the fabric. It's very, very nice. That is absolutely beautiful. Sorry, I'm doing, I'm doing this to you. It's so helpful. Now, if I was your age, <laughs> I would wear this. And what label is that? Balenciaga. That is Balenciaga. So look at that. Oh my God, in its simplicity. So you see, you could have the Balenciaga with a Dolce wedge if you were young, certainly not if you're 67. So just as an example, that's, that is original Balenciaga with the pockets, it's just beautiful. Can you just tell my viewers the price tag on that? Yes, of course. So the price for it is 275 pounds. 275 pounds for original Balenciaga, simple white summer beautiful dress. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple more. To, I could be here, literally, I could spend all day here. Let me just hang this for you. Look. Oh. How amazing is this? This wouldn't, that's a Marilyn Monroe dress. So it imagine is, right? how you would <laughs> feel wearing Let that. Let me tell you who's that. So that is uh, Lisa Marie Fernandez. And I believe this designer creates um, dresses for the red carpet. 
Wow, and may I see the back of it? It's the horse. Oh right, so it's mesh. So it's that. mesh, you can't. So clever. You don't really see it no, no, very... so clever. So I'm going to get out of here because I cannot spend any more money. But I will tell you now, it's Marylebone Lane. Come down to the end of Marylebone Lane and you will see it for yourself. This is an absolute treasure trove. Lovely to meet you. Oh, and who are you? I'm Alison. I'm from Scotland, and this is Sandra. Hi there. <laughs> she stays in Berkshire, but we're down visiting her, and we thought we'd come to Marylebone to see you because I watch oh. you all the time. Oh she's, my God, she really so, is. I honestly, I just said to Sandra, I don't. I promise you, I don't walk up and down this road <laughs> waiting for people to recognise me. I truly don't. But when they do, I absolutely <laughs> love it. So, um, you're down That's from nice. Scotland? Yes, I'm and down from Scotland. Sandra stays in Buckinghamshire. Yes, yeah, so, so she's down visiting me. Yeah, I'm down with my husband yeah. visiting. So with Where's he? And you left him? Oh, he's away golfing with yeah. Sandra. So there you are, husband. and you're doing a bit of retail. And you're doing retail, and then we're going to, to, yeah, going yeah. to the theatre tonight. Well, what are you going to see? Yeah. Sister oh. Act. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Oh gosh, you're going to love that. To, yeah. You really, and yes. you'll absolutely love that. Um, so, can I ask, what do you think of Marylebone? Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? We just yeah, went into the, the food yeah. shop. Oh my here. God! Oh yeah, I oh. some um, Bailey and Sage. It's only just opened, and <laughs> oh, this is like going into Harrods Food Market, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. But it's absolutely like gorgeous. I'm addicted. I go and buy pastries that big for five pounds fifty. It's fantastic. I've just bought it's some cannolis. What? Cannolis, oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Cannolis. And you can't get those anywhere else other than can yeah. cannolis. Yeah. I mean. yeah. 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 They're gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, it's such yeah. a great shop. Oh, oh it's fantastic. Such, no, it I wish is. it was near us. So yeah, so yeah. Good. I know. Well, yeah. listen, I've just come from uh, Marylebone Lane where there are wonderful clothes shops. So you go down there, past Sweaty yeah. Betty, turn left, and keep following Marylebone Lane. You'll love it. Okay. Absolutely love it. The oh, New yeah. King's Road. We'll do oh, that. Okay, girl. It was lovely to meet you. You've made my day. You've made my day. I like your dress. Oh, let, can so you nice. let everyone see the dress? Yeah. Um, if we do it like this. Yeah. So if you show them that and my new shoes. Oh, these lovely. These are my Aqua Zura shoes. Very nice. From Marylebone Lane. <laughs> lovely. 67, I should know better. <laughs> it was lovely to meet you. Bye, girls. Bye. 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 It'll be up on Sunday. Okay. Bye. Bye. Mel's not with me tonight. And it is quite chilly, but I'm not wearing my coat. And there is Dave the cabbie, already in a t-shirt, actually. Quite a balmy night. Hi, Dave. Hi, Joe. Good evening. I know you didn't make it. Cabinet Square is completely closed. Why? Wickmore Street is closed. Why? So I thought I'm going to make another grand entrance. I thought I'm going to be yeah. late. So okay. Why are they closed? Because that's our journey it. home. Yeah, they're resurfacing it. So I, I, I had to fly at Wimple Street and then come around. I thought, oh God, I'm, she's going to be here waiting. I'm, I'm going to be And staying. I'm like, hi, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Always sorry, making sorry, a right. grand entrance. <laughs> Listen, there's loads of things I want to talk to you about. Oh, hang on. Let me just shut the door. Oh. So, I don't know whether you're prepared to talk about this, Dave, but I was... My friend Frankie was over from Spain yeah. and um, she lives in Mallorca and I was saying that I want to end my, end my days, I'd like to, no, yeah, no, I mean, I'd like to go and live in Mallorca in a warm climate and it's something you were interested in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I was thinking, well, yeah, I know you said about doing a time show thing. Yes, well, yeah. but... She was saying that it's almost impossible now because of Brexit. You just can't go over without coming back every 90 days. Yeah, you can only spend, in, in, in any six month period, which is 180 days, you can only spend 90 days in, in, in any 180 day period. So, oh gosh, I keep putting the, the camera near you, but I think the speaker is back here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. anyway, so, this vlog i've been talking about where i will eventually move to and i want to move to somewhere with a nor with a warmer climate but now is the big reveal you know i was talking to all of you about this secret that i've been working on um a collaboration where i couldn't get my hair cut because it had to be a, a certain length well it's all to do with future living or or living um for 
as you get older. I don't want to say retirement. Anyway, I'm not going to say any more, but the project that I've been working on, that I am really proud to have been chosen to collaborate on, is on my Instagram. It's up there now. So you need to go to Joe Good Middle Age Minx on Instagram. It, you know, don't get scared of Instagram. If you don't know what Instagram is, it's so easy. Or if you're you've got mates who've got Instagram, go onto their Instagram and you will see on my post exactly my project. And then, then you will understand why I couldn't get my hair cut. Um, and I'm really proud of it. So please go and leave a comment. And I might, I might leave a tiny little clip of it here, just a tiny clip. No, I won't actually. Go to Instagram. I won't leave a clip here. What I will say, somebody said to me, um, one of my listeners or viewers, should I say, in America said, Joe, you must tell people that if they subscribe to your YouTube channel, it costs them nothing. She said, I think people think they've got to take out a subscription. You don't. You just go to YouTube. You have to register with Google to be able to subscribe, but that costs nothing. Get someone to show you. So if you watch my channel and you don't and you haven't subscribed then fair enough but it helps me if you do it really helps so am i going to end my life living in a warm climate that's my dream or the other choice is go to my instagram and you'll see what i have been filming and that is another option and leave a comment dave are we going to finish here yeah, yeah, well pretty <laughs> I don't know where the speaker is. Is, the, is your speaker back here? It's behind you, I think. Oh, there, I should be doing that. Yeah, but then we don't see the back of your head. Oh, no, but yeah. We like seeing. Where do you think you might finish your days? Well, well I, I, either America or Spain. There but... you are, you see. Neither of us are planning on staying in London. Definitely That's not, sad. No. Well, we couldn't afford to, could we? No, we can't afford to go to Spain either with this new, this new 25,000 a year pension scheme that you've got to have to get to get the Exactly, visa. exactly. Right, I'm going to go. I don't know how many walkers we've got this week. Philippe, by the way, is in Portugal. So thank you, Philippe, because he's edited this whole vlog from Portugal. Dave, say goodbye. Bye, see you next week. Bye.